Good trail etiquette goes a long way when riding with other people at the trails, but bad trail etiquette, well, that goes down like a flat battery at the start of a long climb. It is not good. So here's a few of our pet hates. Powering on. Yep, your e-bike might have a USB outlet on the top tube to power all sorts of the devices from, but that doesn't mean you need to turn your bike into a rolling disco through the woods for other people to listen to. Mate, just turn that rubbish off. Oh, what, me? Sorry. Oh. Yep, if you're running a Bluetooth speaker, you definitely want to leave that thing at home and save all those tunes when you get back. You don't want other people to be listening to your music whilst you're riding around the woods. At the trails, we all ride together. And if you start off with a snobbish attitude towards anyone that hasn't got an e-bike, for instance, just a standard mountain bike, well, you're definitely gonna cause a rift between riders. As we all know, e-bikes can be super expensive to buy and they're not everyone's cup of tea at the end of the day. So let's all just ride together and keep the smile on our faces. With an e-mountain bike, you're gonna be covering a lot of ground faster than a mountain bike, especially when it comes to climbing up those hills. So if you're behind a mountain biker going up a hill, don't sit on their back tire trying to get by as quick as you can. Give them a little bit of space, pass widely, and definitely say hello as you cruise on by. And when it comes to coming down the hill, yes, e-mountain bikes are definitely faster than mountain bikes going down in the right set of hands. You might not have the skills to be faster than a mountain bike, so just give way on those trails, no matter what type of bike you're riding. Yes, it's gotta be a king of mountain. Well, one thing that will definitely upset a Strava user is to upload a ride using your e-mountain bike and not declaring it as an e-mountain bike, pretending you're on a mountain bike. Now, roadies definitely have a massive meltdown about this if you're out on the road and beat them on a hill climb, for example. And there's loads of settings on Strava that will now allow you to change your ride as an e-mountain bike to make sure you, that you actually use this. In fact, the e-mountain bike category is getting massive now on Strava. So if that thing floats your boat, just make sure you use that right setting. E-mountain bikes were made for adventure rides, but the thing is with those adventure rides is that they require a lot of kit to be taken, be that spare batteries, food, drink, tools, tubes, pumps, spare chains, chain tools, things like that are all the kit that you're gonna need for those big rides. So don't expect to turn up to those big adventure rides with no way of carrying your kit or even worse, bringing no kit at all along for those big rides and expect to be rescued by those riders that are bringing the correct kit along. Ah, riding your bike should be about getting away from that screen time and technology for quite a few hours. Riders that have that smartphone attached to their handlebars and click every single notification or reply to text messages can get pretty annoying. And don't even get me started on those loudspeaker phone calls that some riders have when they're riding along the trails. Hey, you all right, Matt? Yeah, all good. Yeah, oh, I'm out on my bike, mate, but yeah, carry on. Oh, it was slamming, it's so good. Your phone should be kept in your pocket. Maybe just take a few pictures or reply to those essential phone calls, not for being on all the time that you're out on your e-bike. Keep those phones away and enjoy the ride. An e-mountain bike can cruise down the trails fast and also very silently too, meaning other trail users can definitely get the fright of their life as you approach them and come flying by. Now, a great way to get around this is by fitting a bell to your bike so you can alert those other trail users of your presence. And the great thing about this is you're not gonna startle those users. They're usually gonna stand aside and let you keep your flow on down the trail too. Ah, no way. Boys, wait up. Big rides require a lot of juice in the tank. And if you're lucky enough to own a second battery and your friend says to take your second battery along for that ride, then you definitely should take their advice. If you do go flat out on that big ride, 
don't expect any sympathy from them or a tow home. Oh, come on, mate, just uh, hook that around your seat and drag us up this hill. Oh, come on. There's so many different variables that can affect your rides. Even those rides that you've done before on one battery might now require two. Things such as maybe swapping your tires out to something a little bit slower rolling or a heavier carcass could affect your range. As can ground conditions, headwinds, temperatures, loads of things that will definitely eat into that range. Now it's all very tempting to ride up the trail that you've just descended down, but you need to remember that it's not just you on the hill that day. And if you meet a rider coming the other way, things can get messy pretty quick. Now most trails will have a safe way back up to the start of the trailhead. If you're at the bike park or a trail center, these will usually be a push-up track or a trail that's designed to be ridden up. If you decide to ride back up these trails, you've just come down, you're putting so many people at risk. Part of being an e-biker is to expect some comments when you're out on your ride. Things such as, cheat, why are you sweating so much? And, oh, it's an e-bike. Things like that are definitely gonna get said to you whilst you're out there on the trails and you definitely don't need to bike to it. In fact, a lot of people aren't educated as to how these bikes work or what's involved with riding them. So just bite your tongue and crack on with your ride. Smile on your face whilst they're huffing and puffing, pushing their bike up the hill. So there you go, a bunch of things you should definitely not be doing at the trails to give us e-bikers a bad name. But get involved in the comments box down below if I've left anything out. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN. Get in the merch shop to check out these new purple jerseys as well. They're pretty cool, right? See you next week.